I'm going to introduce you to humanity's finest warrior. Adam to Graves. He is our combat specialist that is undefeatable and invincible. To give you an example of the power that he can bestow upon us mere mortals. Now you see Adam Eisner, the Nacho Man remembers when I first stumbled upon your Bullshito demonstrations. It was enough to make me hot. But this level of cringe is enough to drive me to the boiling point. Ready? Here we go. Now you see, Adam, you've got other YouTubers now that's making fun of your cringy Bullshito. Acting on in Taiji is after the repulse monkey and you're following them down like this, you can keep following through, doing a full ballerina twist, getting out a shovel and digging their grave, because you just fucking killed them with the repulse monkey. But he has the balls to think he can challenge Sensei Scrotum Scabs to the title of baddest seated mofo alive. I think not, Mizey. Stick to cuddling blokes and letting them on your pong. But long before then, the mega powers of ass combine forces to bring you down. And you are yet to accept a challenge. I would just love to push hands with Adam. I'd love to push hands and see if he can make me hop around or jump on the floor. And we all know why. That reason is because you guys are garbage. Here's a towel to wipe your tears. And the reason why you avoid the challenge is obvious. Especially back on the jab. There we go, there's a head kick and a spin as well as dropped Watkins. And this video is to show the world the levels of cringe that you go at because you think your Fa Jin is spicy. But yet your spicy Fa Jin is nothing but a crumb in the chi flow which is nacho madness. If you want the chi that's guaranteed to be hot and make you hop, you need to remember that the sour cream always goes on top. Before we get into the video, let's look at today's sponsor. Are you tired of Tai Chi instructors prohibiting you from unlocking your true potential by talking in circles? Got one gram of pepper. Because it's correct, not because it's wrong. You want them to get to the pool? I'm gonna let you in a little secret. Before I let my Chi flow, I like to. Oil my shoulder, oil my shoulder, oil my shoulder, oil my shoulder, oil my shoulder. Dry, so you need chili oil. Just rub it in and feel the chi flow. Oh yeah! With all seriousness, there's no need to buy chili oil. There's no need to pay for expensive workshops and oiling your shoulder. When oil checks are given for free. Now back to the video on the jalapeno breakdown. Oh yeah! First we're gonna need a location to practice martial arts. Send me a message, like location, location, I'm gonna come. What An obscure place where the gullible will not question it. Perfect! Next up we're gonna need a logo. Now you heard of Heaven Man Earth? Well I give you Hell Demon Mars. <laughs> Now we just need some cult members. Now that I don't have ass yet to help me, I'm not gonna get any help from those pukes from the left, nor am I gonna get any help from those pukes from the right. So, that should do it. Now we can practice some martial arts for gullible people. So, let's get the chief low in. First up, we've got habanero peppers. We're just gonna use two spicy habanero peppers. Now, when we're in this position, we just need to focus on being correct. Not light, not heavy, correct. And when we are correct, you gotta be in the present. Because when we're in the present, our party will always be in the past. And the past, it's just the pause. Then you add one gram of pressure. Oh yeah! I think we can do better than that. Spicier. Now Adam Meisner 
claims that he will never be seen as a great Tai Chi teacher because he is an Asian. He claims reverse racism. So I've seen you do something in a video, and then I've seen a Chinese person do the same thing in video. People will dislike yours, but <laughs> think, that one, <laughs> think that one's okay. And they I need plastic surgery. <laughs> Well, Asia's a place to get it, it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but I, they, they can't see the disparity between the two. They don't get it. You they know, can't see it. A lot of the little Asian girls, they get like this. They get their eyelids cut to get double, uh, double eyelids, like to get Western yep. eyelids. Yep. I need to get a single eyelid surgery and then, boom, my school will be huge. Yeah, I'm sure that could be arranged. Well, I tell you, Mazda, you could have prevented that whole issue if you just used an Asian-inspired snack instead of jalapenos. So, we're going to project fudge in through spicy noodles. So now we're going to use the noodles. And it's the same idea as before. Just focus on being correct. And there's nothing wrong when you want to eat noodles. And all we do is, you feel the power running through, and you add the one gram of pressure. I think we can do better than that. Now that you've seen Chi and Fa Jin being projected through food. Yeah. And now I know you've seen no touch knockouts. Now I'm going to show you my skill, which proves that Adam Meisner's skill is nothing but a crumb in the dish, which is not show madness. I am going to project Chi through the flaming hot corn chip. Now what makes this so amazing is that this packet of chips is 10% chips and 90% air. That's basically touching and not touching at the same time. But are you going to see a knockout? Oh no. Are you going to see somebody hop? Oh no. You're going to see some true projection of chi in this. So I know I may be sitting down and I will be conceding top position to my opponent. But that doesn't matter when you're the most skillful fighter. Now it's important to understand is that even though that I'm seated, I still have leverage. That's why Steven Seagal looks so good fighting sitting down. And if you don't understand the importance of leverage, you can just ask Epstein and P. Diddy. Now what I'm going to do is, I am going to project all my chi through this bag of hot chips and I'm gonna let that chi flow and my opponent is gonna be completely compliant while I let that chi flow into them and when they feel it oh fuck you're gonna make me he comes on my palm they get the ring sting now you see what makes me more powerful than P Diddy is that I can give ring sting to anyone without taking my pants off now that I show that my skill is spicier than Adam's, I know what you're asking. Nacho Man Munchy Ravage. Why would you still want to take on the master when you train at a workshop hosted by his little brother Gabriel? Well, I'll tell you what. After I posted that video of me attending that workshop on April 1st, I had a lot of time to improve and find my internal transformation. And I found a shortcut in how to get that. There's one way that can make you open up and release quicker than what Adam Meisner can teach. And this is the secret. Since posting that video on April 1st, I have found the way. And that is to prove that Adam is still a fake. Now we know that Adam's not going to take a challenge and have some play time. Because he knows he won't be able to prove his skills on a skeptic. Adam Meisner is not the skilled martial artist that you believe he is. All he has to do to prove it is perform those tricks onto a skeptic. And we don't have to go through the effort of making a scripted documentary about it. To be able to use the force while lying on the ground brings to the forefront... But that will probably never happen. 
And I think this video has come to a conclusion as I prove my point. So if you like this video, give it a like. If you want some more playtime, subscribe to the channel. Not your man. Let's get out of here. That couch is dirty.